The Netherlands is becoming a narco-state plagued with drugs, sex crimes, and chat scams, according to a report by Dutch police. Police union NPB has released a report that said law enforcement officers are becoming overwhelmed and unable to deal with their responsibilities to control crime. Lack of capacity has meant only one in five cases are attended to by detectives, according to the report. In this video, we are going to discuss, is the Netherlands turning into a narco-state? The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. It says police are forced to focus their attention only on violent crimes, such as robberies or murders. The narco state label itself might come as a surprise to those who think of the Netherlands as a seemingly well-regulated, law-abiding country, an economic powerhouse, and a paragon of political stability. The categorization is not universally accepted in academic and political circles, but has been increasingly brandished since a series of brutal murders and worry reports on the country's role as a hub for the marijuana, cocaine, and MDMA trades. Few would argue that the situation resembles that in, for example, Mexico. But two years ago, the Netherlands was shaken by the assassination of the lawyer of the key prosecution witness in a major drugs murder trial bearing the randomly picked name Marengo. In less than a decade, cocaine seizures in the major Baltic ports had gone from being an occasional problem to a frequent phenomenon. When Hamburg officials inspected the Paraguayan containers, which were reported to hold more than 1,700 tins of construction putty, they stumbled upon 17.6 metric tons of cocaine. By comparison, all the cocaine intercepted either in or en route to Europe in 2020 amounted to just over 100 tons, and in 2021, the U.S. Border Patrol seized about 44 tons. After Belgian authorities were notified that the same company had another shipment headed to Antwerp, police there found an additional 7.2 tons, bringing the total to 23 tons, the largest cocaine seizure in European history. While the scale of the discovery was shocking, the fact of it was not. The number of cocaine seizures in Europe has been rising steadily, quadrupling between 2009 and 2019. The death of Wiersum marked the first time in Dutch history that the criminal world murdered a legal representative of the state. The lawyer was representing Nabel B., a key witness against two of the Netherlands' most wanted suspects. Ridu and Taggy was detained while attempting to enter Dubai and held under an international arrest warrant for murder and drug trafficking. The organization he leads, known as Angels of Death, is linked to nine assassinations, including that of Dirk Weersom. The arrest was considered a great success, but unfortunately many have doubts that it will prevent young people from following in his footsteps. In July 2018, Amsterdam Ombudsman Orizormand essentially acknowledged that in the center of Amsterdam, illegal activities prevail at night. In the city center, criminal money is circulating at night, and the authority is no longer present, he said to Tro. The police can no longer handle this situation. According to the Amsterdam Police Chief Peter Jap Albersberg, we are dealing with homicides for 60 to 70 percent of our work, and for the rest mainly with radicalization and terrorism investigations. This leaves little time for tackling large-scale drug trafficking. We do not get to sufficiently investigate the structure, the real bosses in the international drug trade, Albersberg said, and we know. In a capital with this infrastructure, with the extent of drug use in the city, this is certainly part of the cause of homicides. Quarrels, competition, seized parties of drugs and interests in the cocaine trade. Paul Vutz, a crime reporter for Amsterdam paper Het Perul, who spent six months living under police protection after getting death threats, said it was high time for action. It took the killing of a crime blogger, the innocent brother of a crown witness against alleged drug gang chief, Ridwan Taggi and others, then the witness's lawyer Dirk Weersom, and last summer my colleague Peter R. de Vries, the crown witness's official confidant. We don't have mafia like Italy, but this kind of violence is mafia-like. It is terror. A serious crime unit, the Multidisciplinary Intervention Team, is being overhauled and recent investigations have revealed holiday parks where criminals may be laundering money, suspect private art galleries, dodgy transport firms and corruption at Schiphol Airport. 
Banks have already been sanctioned for abetting money laundering, and accountants and law firms are next. Cracking encrypted phone services has generated scores of leads and arrests, most recently of suspected drug criminal Mink K in Lebanon. Public prosecutors and courts were demanding life sentences in the massive Marengo murder trial. Meanwhile, Rotterdam's mayor is lobbying for all fruit containers at the port to be scanned, and for more than the 10 million euros promised to businesses to help deal with corruption. In Rotterdam, businesses are training 2,800 employees to combat corruption and intimidation, and Boss Jansen, managing director of the port association Deltalinks, points out that customs, police, and security firms are also sometimes implicated in collections of cocaine from containers. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.